Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look where I got. I'm going to walk around as you do. We came across this. Uh, takeaway for one. Firecracker chicken and garlic ginger chicken. It's new with egg, rice and a vegetable spring roll. There is the serving suggestion look. And a little traffic light system here. Now I've reviewed one of these uh, about a month ago. It was a curry one. Uh, and they've done this one now. So I'm going to review this one. Um, it was two pounds and fifty pence. So yeah, two pound fifty for a takeaway for one. It's five hundred grams. So let's have a look at the box. Like I say, I did that curry one. Uh, it was just, I think it was like, um, well, there's a curry one anyway. If you want to go and have a look at it, it'll be in me one of my playlists, which I will put a link in the description. It's five hundred grams, like I say, and if it's anything like the other one, it, the other one was a good one. So it's a little IE sticker on it there, look. And there is some nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that. By all means, go ahead. They are the ingredients and a little bit of spiel about it at the top, which I will read out to you. Battered chicken breast pieces with added water in a spicy fire cracker sauce. Cooked chicken pieces in a garlic and ginger sauce with cooked egg and pea rice and a vegetable spring roll. And they are all the ingredients there with a lot of allergens we have. We have egg, milk, sesame seed, soya, beans, wheat, sesame seed. Um, let's have a look, see if I've missed any wheat, wheat, soya bean. Yeah, got all that sesame seed, barley. Um, soya bean, if there's any in there that I've missed, please let me know. No artificial colours, flavours or hydrogenated fats. Allergy advice for allergens including cereals containing gluten, see ingredients in bold which we've just covered. Warning, extra care has been taken to remove bones although some may remain. Mm, 500 grams like I said, packed in Ireland with chicken from Thailand. For Asda Leeds. Well, it's Thailand chicken, unfortunately, but that is just the way it goes, isn't it? Let me know your thoughts on um, chicken from overseas. I have mixed comments on it. Please, I, I do like to, know, like to know your thoughts. That's what it's all about, these uh, reviews. Cooking instructions. Microwave from frozen 700 watt, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Or if you've got a 900 watt, it's 9 minutes. You do it to suit your microwave. Whatever wattage you've got. And there is the oven. From frozen, 200 degrees, 400 Fahrenheit, fan 180, gas 6, 40 minutes. So let's get this open and see what we have got. Do we have a tab system? And there's the best before date there. Look, 10th of July... 2024 have we got a tab oh we have got a tab system look so it's the old debate on the old um thailand chicken and, and i'll get a lot of my comments I'll, I'll, um basically why can't we use chicken from our shores that is a very good question why can't we that's what you get meal for one all in all in the tray look which is good you don't have to you don't have to get a plate do you it saves on washing up <laughs> so what you do now is you pierce the film lid several times and by the looking at the looking at the oh, I love that sound I love doing that one more for look so it basically goes in as a one um, so mine's 800 watts so I will adjust the times accordingly to my wattage I'll bring you back when when it's done I've jumped the gun again, haven't I? Luckily, I haven't started the microwave. I, I just, I didn't read these at look, which you should. You always pay attention to instructions, and I am not the best at paying uh, attention to instructions. There's a procedure, and I will talk you through it. Once I have I've cooked it, I'll talk you through the procedure. There's a bit of a procedure, and it's that little spring roll goes in the oven for 15 minutes. Now, all the rest goes in the microwave. 
So you're using your, your oven or your air fryer for, well I've got it on for 10 minutes at 180 at the moment for a small little spring roll. Now I don't know if you could do this in the air fryer on the bake setting. I'm not going to because it's plastic and last time I did that with the lasagna it all melted around the edges. Now if you do it in the oven it's 40 minutes plus warming up of your oven so you're looking at a good 45 minutes aren't you and it probably will be nice done in the oven but yeah, I, 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 I've got that on for 10 minutes, just for one little uh, spring roll. You put the rest in the microwave for 7 minutes, and after 7 minutes you put a tablespoon of water on your rice, give it a stir, give the other little compartments a stir, and then you put it back in the microwave for the remaining time, up to 9 minutes, for a 900 watt. Yeah, so that's that one. <laughs> I'll bring you back when it's done. So at it's seven minutes, let's do the peel seal test to see if it comes off okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm loving it. It's passed. I've added my water, so I'm just gonna give it a bit of a mix look. Rice and peas. Get some healthy vegetables in me. So that's that. Um, I'll give this a stir as well. Ginger, garlic, chicken. Right, I better go and get another spoon. I don't want any cross contamination going on. Um, and that's your, your firecracker chicken. Yeah, mix that up. Right, goes back in the microwave now. Another two and a half minutes. There is your um, spring roll. It's only Diddy. Um, I didn't do it for 10 minutes in the end, it, it got 6 minutes at 180. Um, I looked in after 4 minutes and it was getting a bit browned off, so I, I just did it for another 2 minutes, turned it over. Also forgot to mention, it's a 2 chilli rating. It's done. Let's get it out of these. I mean, you can eat in its container if you want, like, um, oh, oh, it's going everywhere. Better get the old, uh, anyway. There it is, duh! <laughs> um, firecracker chicken, that looks hot, doesn't it? Nice and red, look at that oil slick on there. Uh, it's in battered chicken as well. Looks like there's two pieces. I'll get the old um, spoon in now and I'll, I'll bring you down, you can have a look. And I will get it on a plate as well. So yeah, you get two firecracker chicken. Two bits of chicken you get. And there's all your sauce, look. So chicken breast pieces with added water in spicy firecracker sauce, that is. And this one is your, obviously your, your, your ginger and your garlic. Get me other. So there's your onion in there as well. Um, your chicken. How many bits do you get? Three, four, five bits of chicken. Yeah. Mmm. And there's your rice and peas. I'm going to chop the old spring roll up so you can have a look in there. I do like spring rolls. I love them. Have a look. It's red hot as well, by the way. Got a bit of cross-contamination. I'll, I'll put a question to you. Who builds a dam with the rice? <laughs> I, be, I must admit, sometimes, I, well, I, I build a dam. I build a dam with my rice. And I put one one side and one, one, one the other. But that is very rare because I always get one dish. I never get two dishes together. I like a beef curry, a mixed meat curry I like. I'm going to get into the spring roll first. See what that's like. I'll just move you back a bit. I will try not to lip smack and I will try to eat without making a noise. <laughs> and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Mmm. That's lovely, tasty. Mmm. It's crispy, it's well seasoned and it's tasty. And that's what it should be with a spring roll. Very nice. We'll see how hot it is. 
So it's, it's in batter. Have a look at that. I'll just move you back again a bit more. Hmm. Got a bit of rice on there as well. Mmm. Yeah, that is, um, it's got a bit of, um, a bit of heat to that sauce. It's sweet as well, it's tasty. God, that is good. I like that. I like that. Mmm. The batter on it is a bit wasted. It's nice and soft, the moist, the chicken. Um, but that sauce is, is tasty. It has got some heat. I can feel it on the back back of my throat now. Oh yeah, it has. A two chilli rating, and I'd say that's more like a three. Mmm. Oh, I'm liking it. Right. I've got another question for you as well. Do you mix it all up together? With, with meals like this separated, I sort of eat them separate with the rice. I sort of dig in the chicken and the sauce and put it in the rice. I don't mix them up because it'll just, it'll ruin both dishes, won't it? Mixed, mix, let me know in the comments what, what you do going all over here. That's lovely as well. Not too garlicky, not too gingery. And it's giving me mouth a bit of relief as well from that firecracker chilli because that is quite hot. It's quite hot to be, to be fair, to be honest. The chicken's nice and soft. It'd come across no bones. It's quite mild, that garlic ginger chicken. It's quite sweet as well. It's well seasoned. You don't need no more salt on this. But I, I, I like that firecracker chicken one. That's the best one. I do like my, my food spicy. Mmm. I mean, for the sake of the old spring roll, I will just put that in the microwave. I mean, it's only diddy, isn't it? Just stick it in the microwave. It'll go soggy, but it'll still taste good, you know. Because if you go to work and you've only got a microwave at work, your spring roll's going to be it's going to be left out, isn't it? So just pop it in the microwave. So let's get some rice and peas. See what this is like. I've added a water to it. Mm. Just like boiled rice and peas, really. Maybe put a bit of pepper in there, or a bit of salt. Yeah, a bit of salt and pepper for me, just to season it a bit. It's quite bland. But I suppose when you mix it all in, look, when you get it in that firecracker sauce, and you all mix it up like that. Mmm. Forget about the salt and pepper in that rice. we are mixing it up like that. It's perfect. I'll try these other three bits of chicken because I don't want to come across any sort of gristle when I finish finish the video. I don't want them three bits to be like gristle. And uh, I, I can't tell you then, can I? Mmm. Mmm. No gristle, no bones. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I would buy that again. It's good. An 8 out of 10. I mean, it's Thailand chicken. It's, it's, your, it's up to you at the end of the day. It would be nice to use chicken from our shores. Please let me know in the comments your feelings. £2.50, which is not a bad bargain. I'd think it's a bargain, to be honest. To be fair, to be honest, doing a wall. Right, I'm going. It's going. Uh -uh. Back in the room. 
So take care, all the best. Thanks for joining the membership. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.